السلام علیکم دس از سمر اینڈ آئی ایم دا فاؤنڈر آف اے پفنی لائک یو گائز آلریڈی نو میرے ادارے کا نام ہے پفنی ہے جو کہ سوشل اور کریٹو انٹرپرائزز کی مدد کرتا ہے ہاؤ ڈو یو اسٹارٹ یور بزنس ہاؤ ڈو یو اسکیل یور بزنس اس طرح کی تمام ٹیکنیکس اور کیپیسٹی بلڈنگ ہم کر رہے ہوتے ہیں آنٹرپرینرس کی اور پچھلے سال سے وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ ٹیکنگ اے ہیوج انٹرسٹ ان گیمنگ وائی گیمنگ یو نو وی کین ٹاک اباؤٹ اٹ مے بی ڈیورنگ دس سیلیبریٹی گیم جیم بٹ ون آف دا تھنگس ایٹ بی ڈسائڈیڈ ٹو ڈو انڈر دا سیلیبریٹی گیم جیم انڈر دا گیم گیمنگ انیشیٹیوز از اے سیلیبریٹی گیم جیم اور سیلیبریٹی گیم جیم میں ہم کیا کرتے ہیں وی انوائٹ پیپل جو کہ انفلوئنسز ہیں یا تو کانٹینٹ کریٹرز ہیں ڈیجیٹل کانٹینٹ کریٹرز ہیں یا مے بی دیر انفلوئنسز ان دیر اون انڈسٹری یعنی کہ کسی بھی ایک پرٹیکولر انڈسٹری میں مہارت رکھتے ہیں ایکسپرٹیز رکھتے ہیں تو ہم ان کو گیدر کرتے ہیں اور ان سے ہم مزے مزے کے سوالات بھی پوچھتے رہتے ہیں اور ان کے تھرو ہم کوئی نیا گیم ایکسپلور کرتے ہیں um so this time around i'm super excited because i have two young individuals who both belong to the entrepreneurial industry uh dono ke dono ka entrepreneurship se bahut hi close rishta hai entrepreneur unme se ek entrepreneur bhi ab to actually dono entrepreneurs hain to abhi hum unse baat karte hain aur dekhte hain ki kya ki kaise wo game ye khelte hain um dusri cheez jaldi se main batati chalu ki raw fury ne hamara pehla jo celebrity game jam tha wo bhi support kiya tha um us time pe goner 2 humne khela tha پہلی دفعہ اسکرین کے اوپر وہ پہلے دن اسی دن وہ لائیو ہوا تھا اینڈ آج بھی اگین اسپیشل تھینکس ٹو راف فیوری فار بینگ آر سپورٹر اینڈ دا گیم ٹوڈے از ویل ال بی ریویل شارٹ یو وانٹ اٹ اوکے سو ود آؤٹ مچ ڈو میں ویلکم کرتی ہوں اپنے دونوں گیسٹ کو عمر پرویز خان اینڈ مینا تارک جی ہائے عمر ہائے مینا بالکل ٹھیک ہاؤ یو اچھا گیم کے علاوہ کیا کرتے ہیں So I am a partner at a VC fund and mm-hmm. we invest in uh, startups across Southeast Asia. We, um, my firm is Singapore based, so we invest in Southeast Asia, investments. but last year we you know, started entering the Pakistan market and experimenting a bit. So yeah. And would you say Meena dragged you into the world of entrepreneurship? Meena dragged me into the world of Kicking entrepreneurship. Kicking and streaming. There was a, there was a, I don't know, there was a lot of resistance. startup uh, pitching had competition no idea. and she said you know you should come to the pitching competition and I like I'm Samar, like, Samar, it was so easy to work I said you should come to the pitching competition and he just came and this happened <laughs> I begged him to come to the pitching competition I dragged him I bribed when, him When was this? When was this? I don't know, back in 2016 15, 16, 15, 16, probably early 2016 ki probably a lot of people I said to him, you come and you can see what my job is and why are you so excited and after that, actually, I was able to get away from a lot of people I remember I was able to get away from a lot of people I was able to get away from a lot of people I love it, you can see a lot of people I remember when she dragged me to the pitching competition the seats were a little bit So they were saying, hmm. yeah, more seats. Yeah, they are feeling American. I'm not better. I'm a picture of me. I'm just a bad guy. That's how. <laughs> That's how badly you were treated. Amina, you didn't do it. No, no. This was saying that I didn't have any interest. What? I'm an accountant. I don't have any relationship with this. What will I do? And after that, I was saying that the end is going to happen. Like, you know, my time is going to be over. Let's go home. Or 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 let's go home. And he was hooked. So you were hooked instantaneously. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because even when you watch people pitch, who are in startups, who are in startups, who are in startups, because they are passionate about their businesses, you are automatically drawn to it. So I think that was the start. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, like in audit and everything, you know, you see these big business, businesses, these big machines. But when you, when, when I looked at like these individuals pitching their startups with so much passion and energy and so much new mm. ideas, 
I was like, this is way cooler than <laughs> accounting. And you, you know, it was so similar for me as well. So Karandas ke under FinTech Disrupt Challenge, I organized kiya, which was between Karandas and Lums. And then I was just hooked. I was like, oh my God, these guys are so fantastic. I was like, oh my God, these guys are so fantastic. I was like, oh my God, these guys are so fantastic. I was top favorites. Thi, unme se ek, now she's, uh, she does Tay's financial services, right? So that's how long <laughs> ago I saw her. And I was like, oh my God, I wish she would, uh, you know, tr- uh, be transported to the next round like next round nahi main nahi ja sake the right so i still remember feeling really disappointed just like mera business so but i think it's a very catchy feeling but look what we are here today obviously we want to discuss all of this um and meena ko bhi hum zara sa bhi puchte meena ke bare mein bhi but what we are here to do today is to play this game which both these people have not played before so yahan pe mere paas hai ek coin as you can see 5 rupees ka ye coin hai aur main isko toss karungi but pehle ye dono mujhe batayenge ji 5 rupees ki side kaun lega जो नंबर वाली साइड है और ये कौन लेगा नंबर वाली साइड ओके आर यू ओके विद दैट ओवर या या ऑल राइट सो आई एम जस्ट गोना फ्लिप एंड लेट्स सी ओ सो मीना यू हैव वन द टॉस नाउ यू डिसाइड आप पहले खेलना चाहेंगी या आप उमर को पहले खिलाई खिलाएंगी उमर पहले खेलेगा यस ओके ऑल राइट देन सो उमर आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू शेयर योर स्क्रीन Let's see this game and yeah. All right. Okay. Best of luck, Omar. How do you feel? I feel okay. Yeah. Um, this game. Really? Not too nervous. Uh, but it's also fun. So I enjoy gaming. I I play really hardcore games that can destroy <laughs> your emotions and everything. So this hmm. this seems like a really chilled out game. I think I'm gonna have fun. Okay, awesome. All right, so ready when you are, TK, and we're going to time this. Let's see how far you progress in ten minutes, levels okay. wise. TK, so whenever you reach the beginning, तो हम वो करते हैं. और Mina, आपको मैंने rule ये नहीं बताया कि you can distract Umar as much as you like, right? मैं अभी ताकि वो मेरी Umar की छोटी सी baby है अभी उसको लेके आती हूँ. Oh yes. Oh yes. The the little singer that you have, mashallah, or the little you know. ठीक है ऑल राइट और जितनी देर में खुल रहा है सो मीना यस थिंक ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजीज टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट हेम वट वी डू इज हम टेन टेन मिनट्स के लिए खेलते हैं और देखते हैं कि कौन कितने लेवल पे पहुंचता है जो ज्यादा लेवल्स को क्रॉस करेगा ऑब्वियसली वो जीत जाएगा सिंपल ठीक है ओके सो वाइल इट्स लोडिंग यस मीना नो आई एम अ वेरी बैड गेम मतलब कोई अगर मारियो ब्रदर्स में भी हार सकता है वो आप मुझसे बात कर रही है फिर यू टॉकिंग टू दैट पर्सन So we used to play a bunch one way me and my sister I think har kisi ne Mario Brothers khela hoga mm-hmm. Do you guys play Yeah yeah I yeah. remember my sister was really upset she finished it like I don't know 100 times but I used to hmm. play with her as well hmm. Yeah so I was always Luigi Oh the cherry Okay so what's happening here is that Umar is trying to create a pathway is that correct omar yeah i'm just defending my island from the invaders but this should be but apparently you haven't done a very good job have you so far sorry for being so encouraging i think it's fine i think it's fine <laughs> i don't know i played this game for the first time <laughs> but they're dying i'm not dying <laughs> it looks okay So as so our viewers can see on the screen that you know this is what the VC world looks like. Oh, victory! That was very fast, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. We're on the timer next. Oh wow! So Omar has already progressed to the second level. अच्छा चलो जब तक ये हम कर रहे हैं ना तो साथ में ये तो बताओ Omar कि how has the entrepreneurial journey been? Has it been this easy like this level? Um, it's not been easy. I mean. It's not been easy. Uh, mm-hmm. My entrepreneurial journey started when I was introduced to this space, and um, I started out as a virtual CFO or a fundraising consultant for startups. Mm-hmm. And so I created my own firm, and I, I, you know, gave consulting services to startups, and then mm-hmm. I joined the other side of the table, uh, which was the VC side. So, mm-hmm. so it's been, it's been. It's been a like learning experience because from shifting to traditional finance to something that is, uh, that is like in venture capital and entrepreneurship, it's more, it's more, 
vague, you know, there's not much data to work with and you have to do all those things. But, uh, but it's been good. It's been good. Hmm. So, yeah, but okay, were you able to make money? Were startups paying you for the financial services? That seems to one of, be one of the pain points. So, yeah, so yeah, definitely it's not that easy um, mm -hmm. because, like, as you know, I know startups are strapped for cash and mm -hmm. uh, they want to put as much money into market testing and growth mm -hmm. instead of like costs and items like finances. But, but so initially I thought there was more resistance, but as the ecosystem grew, uh, you know, entrepreneurs started to realize how important this is. Yeah. And uh, and that's why, sorry. <laughs> what just happened? I was just trying to distract you through my questions as well. Yeah, Nina, yeah, apparently, you know, apparently, you have to distract you. Yeah, it's fine. Because it's falling on my building, but I think I'm okay. So, so what just so, happened? There was some bloodbath happening over there, no? Yeah, oh, no, yeah. you were successful. Oh, Again. okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for sounding so excited. Oh my God, I'm level three. Pe chale uh -huh. As you can tell, I'm very biased that Meena ko jeetna chahiye. Not only because she's a French, but obviously because she's a girl. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding around. All right. Okay, so Meena, what about you? Startups realizing, uh, even when Umar started working, because I was at Invest to Innovate, and uh, which was an accelerator, which meant that the startups that were part of the I2I program were usually startups which were investor conversations. When businesses start, many people realize that accounting systems or processes or financial management are not necessary. They go very late to realize it, and they usually realize it when the investor asks a question. Then, you know, everything gets real. And that's when people are willing to pay. That's when people are... Because you have to do it at that time. Hmm. I think uh, that way, Umar got to work with a lot of startups which were very serious levels before they were reached. And their hmm. investor conversations were not happening. But many startups failed to fail one or two times due diligence. Uh, hmm. And they realized that we are failing for this because these things are not in order. Nahi hai. So we need to get an expert in to put this in order. So Absolutely. I think that kind of worked out in a lot yeah, of ways. Yeah, definitely. So I saw that part. But even like in between and even in the beginning, I did a lot of pro bono work as well for startups mm -hmm. um, because I just enjoyed it, helping them out and seeing them succeed as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a good journey. It was really, really, really exciting work. And I think oh, Joe Bittana about the pro bono work that really helps startups. So obviously, you know, you're talking to somebody who believes that as well. That it's very important for them. And thank you for the support system here, Majood, in the country. And there's still people who want to contribute and give their time. But let's, uh, while you're playing, so Meena, se bhi sa Meena, map out your journey a little bit for our audience. Yeah, so my professional journey, my entrepreneurial journey started really young. Um, hmm. I was very, very, I was seven, eight years old when I started to make and sell things. Um, and I think I got very hooked on what we now know is value creation. But at that time was just an understanding that I could do things that would make money. Uh, very early on, because my home system tha na, tha, as a kid, it didn't have a big scene. It was pocket money, you can do things with it. If your pocket money is over, then it will be over. Then you can take a loan from your mom. And then you can take a loan from your pocket money. So if you wanted to do it on top of it, then you had to think about what you would do. So I think very early on, I had to think about this. बहुत अट्रैक्ट करना शुरू हो गई और मेरा दिमाग काइंड ऑफ उस तरीके से चलना शुरू हो गया या उस डायरेक्शन में चलना शुरू हो गया मैंने अपनी जिंदगी में बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपेरिमेंट किया है विद बिज़नेसेस बहुत यंग एज से जैसे मैं कह रही हूँ सात आठ साल की उम्र से मैंने एक्सपेरिमेंट करना शुरू कर दिया मैं फोर्टीन ईयर्स की थी तो मैंने एक मेहंदी का बिजनेस शुरू किया जो कि अगले दस साल मैंने चलाया Uh, I ended up going to business school और आपको पता है business school में आजकल या उस जमाने में तो definitely सिर्फ वो जाते थे जिनको medical college में admission नहीं मिलता था तो मैंने पूरे पाकिस्तान में medical college में admission दिए और फिर मेरा admission ऐसी city में हुआ जहाँ मैं नहीं move करना चाहती थी तो मैंने कहा आप छोड़ो यार मैं इधर BBA कर देती हूँ तो मैंने BBA कर लिया उस तरीके से मैंने finance में कुछ time job किया I hated my job I did not enjoy finance and accounting at all um, I applied for the Fulbright scholarship and I went to the US to do my MBA. Um, and my focus was always entrepreneurship. Okay, again, summer I had to experiment. So I wanted to learn something like that I could learn businesses 
बना सकूं उनको ग्रो कर सकूं अपने लिए मतलब तब मुझे कोई इकोसिस्टम का नहीं पता था ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप सपोर्ट का कुछ नहीं मुझे पता था ऐसा कोई चीज मेरे ऐसी कोई चीज मेरे दिमाग में नहीं थी खैर आई वेंट देर आई एंड अ वेरी वेरी गुड स्कूल फॉर ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप बहुत मेरा अच्छा वहाँ पे टाइम गुजरा केम बैक एंड आई जॉइन इन बेस्ट इन वेट एज देर हेड ऑफ एक्सेलरेटर तो एक्सेलरेटर जो है वो सपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होती हैं Um, जो कि थोड़े से बड़े बिजनेसेस यानी कि ऐसे बिजनेसेस जो ग्रोथ uh, स्टेज पे आ गए होते हैं उनको सपोर्ट करती हैं एंड दे टीच देम हाउ टू ग्रो एंड स्केल तो आई स्टार्टेड रनिंग दैट प्रोग्राम एंड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट फोर इयर्स आई रन दी आई टू आई एक्सेलरेटर हेयर इन पाकिस्तान जिससे मुझे हर तरह के स्टार्टअप से एक्सपोजर मिला अक्रॉस पाकिस्तान जहाँ पे मुझे इस इको का भी एक्सपोजर मिला नेटवर्क्स uh, बने कनेक्शंस बने मैंने बहुत कुछ सीखा कंपनीज um, कैसे बनती हैं कंपनीज फेल कैसे होती हैं और क्यों होती हैं और उनको फेल करने से कैसे बचाएं एट्सट्रा एट्सट्रा और स्टार्टअप्स के क्या माइंडसेट होते हैं वो चीज़ सीखी तो जब मैंने तो मैंने ये सोचा कि अब मैं सो मीना फॉर अ क्विक सेकंड आई वांट टू यू एंड जस्ट पॉइंट योर गेम बाय द वे फिफ्थ लेवल क्रॉस कर लिया उमर ने अच्छा यस अच्छा चलो सो या सो यू नो सो इंट्रोडक्शन चल रहा है तो मैं क्या चीज ओके ओके मेबी मेबी फाइन ठीक है है चलो सो सो कैरी ऑन बिकॉज़ अभी इसका लेवल स्टार्ट नहीं हुआ है, तो गो जल्दी से करो ताकि वी कैन डिस्ट्रैक्ट उमर नाउ या या आई 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 मीन फर्स्ट एंड 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 trained um, almost 800 entrepreneurs across pakistan through a few of the projects that i've been working with so yeah it's been a it's been a fun journey so far hmm. okay all right so i know um, you know most of the journey so thank you once again for being here because i think ke startup ko aap dono se इन्वेस्टमेंट का पर्टिकुलरली भी पता चलेगा बट बिफोर वी डू दैट ये बताओ कि अब जैसे नाउ दैट यू गाइज आर बोथ यू नो वेल सो एक्चुअली लेट मी आस्क यू सो आई रिमेंबर कि एक और भी तोता था आपका जो स्टार्टअप था um you know which used to give gifts at the at 12 midnight 12 baje was yeah. it that 12 baje so <laughs> so jo apne sari strategies seekhi by working with different startups how they're feeling etc were you able to implement some of those lessons to your own startup does it still exist is it growing kya ho raha hai udhar uh to 12 baje was umar's idea uh and we started working on it this is i think almost 3 years back at this point jab humne 12 baje launch kiya tha and we ran it for about a year very successfully बट उसके बाद समय हमने रियलाइज किया कि वो इट इज नॉट अ बिजनेस विच एज अ लाइफ यू आर डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ अदर वर्क ऑन द साइड तो क्योंकि हम दोनों की फुल टाइम जॉब्स भी थी उसके साथ साथ वो बड़ा मुश्किल हो रहा था एंड ऑल्सो उस बिजनेस के डेफिनेटली स्केल के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से चैलेंजेस थे दिव इज अलिंग बारह बजे प्योर गिफ्ट डिलीवरी बिजनेस था जैसे आप टी सी एस सेंटीमेंट एक्सप्रेस सोच लें तो अगर किसी ने कोई गिफ्ट बास्ट के भिजवाना है कोई केक डिलीवर कराना है तो हम वो कर रहे थे Um, और उस टाइप के बिजनेस को स्केल करने के लिए देर इज अट ऑफ ऑपरेशनल वर्क दैट नीड्स टू हैपन एंड लॉट ऑफ मनी दैट नीड्स टू इंजेक्टेड तो वी आर नाउ एक्चुअली इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ री बैंपिंग बारह बजे इन टू स्लाइटली डिफरेंट बिजनेस वी प्रॉब्लम बी लॉन्चिंग इट स्कूल बट इट्स गोइंग टू मूव इन टू अर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन स्टिल गिफ्टिंग बट वेरी डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन तो आजकल उसकी री लॉन्च में काम हो रहा है बट एक्चुअली एक और आई एम ऑल्सो वर्किंग ऑन एन अदर साइड on a on a on another startup idea um i'm not going to talk a lot about sure, that right yeah, now sure. it's in stealth mode but let's mm. see i think we bought it it is such an exciting time in our ecosystem right now there's so much happening aur aap chahe investor ke taur pe kaam kar rahe ho aap chahe you know support me mujhe tumhara bhi pata hai samar ki you are you're also constantly experimenting you're also constantly starting new things and trying out new you know new mm. uh, new experiments And I think वो इसी वजह से है क्योंकि हम जब पैशनेट लोगों के साथ काम करते हैं ना तो इट ऑलवेज इन्फ्यूजेज यू विद पैशनेट इट इंस्पायर यू 
हमें लगता है हम भी इंस्पायर कर रहे होते हैं फिर हमारा भी दिल चाहता है कुछ हम भी साइड पे करते रहे and it's a two way thing but i'm going to stop for a quick second here sorry omar no we cannot play the next level because aapka time pure 10 minutes ho chuke hain so omar has reached what eighth eight levels complete kiya aapne omar ne right omar nahi nahi usse kam hogi so 1 2 3 3 4 5 nahi ye to no to nahi kiye ye kiye 6 kiye nahi kiye eight kiye the na aapne kyunki fir aap 3 4 5 5 6 हमबग और हमबग पे पहुंचे हो आप क्या करती हो पांच में करती हो मतलब आई नो दैट यूर यूर गोइंग टू not you you could actually there is no there are no hang on what is that speech that everybody makes at the end of such competitions there are no winners or losers it's only about taking that first step there, there are always winners and losers okay like that is not a thing <laughs> uh, when i are both super competitive i am just a noob at this so a noob at gaming basically so i'm not being competitive in this one but if we were playing name place animal things समथिंग एल्स समथिंग या यू कुड ऐड यू कैन ऑल एवरीवन लाइक मूवीज प्रोग्राम्स हां या या सो उमर व्हाट यू मेंशन दैट यू लाइक टू प्ले गेम्स राइट सो व्हाट आर योर फेवरेट गेम्स क्या खेलते हैं आप सो आई प्ले द गेम कॉल्ड डिफेंस ऑफ द एंशंट डोटा इट्स नोन एज डोटा 2 हां हां एंड आई प्लेड अदर गेम्स एज़ वेल बट इफ यू आर इफ यू आर सीरियस अबाउट डोटा 2 दैट्स द ओनली गेम यू कैन प्ले आई हैव नो आइडिया हाउ यू प्ले दिस बाय द वे सेलेक्ट with the left click and you it's not with the right click okay left click to select right click to move is done ho jayenge stand up shift click leave button ko karna hai anyway sorry so are you teaching me na some of your moves umar yeah bata do koi baat nahi help kar do it's okay <laughs> so yeah so i play dota mostly um okay. I I love it and hate it at the same time, <laughs> but it's now a very core part of my life. So why do you love it and why do you hate it? It's a very frustrating game. It's not an easy game. It's very complicated. It's uh, there are other players involved. You get a match with other teammates. Sometimes you're not happy with them. You can get frustrated. Um, it's a very unforgiving game. You can say one mistake and you lose. Mm. Um, and that's why but at the same time that complication and that the difficulty is what makes it's it one uh, level 1 has been completed by your you know competitor at the moment so player 2 has won the first level ladies and gentlemen we're moving on to level number 2 which is the scraggle this island called scraggle scraggle wale be scared theek hai meena pahunch ki hai wahan pe acha aur umar ye batao ke now that you are in the vc you know uh, realm do, would you ever invest in gaming startups so we've been looking at some startups related to the gaming industry mm-hmm. but not particularly in pakistan so we've been looking at a few um in in southeast asia but it's more around game streaming um and and stuff like that not like core gaming gaming not like any esports team or esports brand or mm-hmm. you know esports players but it's the industries around it that mm-hmm. we're sort of looking at how to get in and and what's what what do you think what we think the trend would be 
in, in the next year. I think one game streaming will be a big trend because uh, because the hardware costs are going higher and higher for you know the latest parts, latest graphic cards, latest uh, CPUs, um, and and they're, and and, and they're, they're being released pretty quickly. Oh so so your so your PC can become outdated pretty quickly. So I think gaming streaming platforms like Google Stadia and you know Sony has their own, Microsoft, Amazon is launching one. I think I think that's mm. going to be a trend mm. where you don't need your own hardware; you can just stream it and play it online. Hmm. That's very interesting. But uh, separately, we also want to ask you gaming wale startups ke liye bhi, but uh, alag se bhi, because obviously, you are investment ki side. Pe, what are the some of the characteristics that you look for when you are startups ko analyze kar rahe hote ho for VC funding? So I have definitely seen that um, the I mean it's it, like I think ninety percent VC will say the same thing, but I think the founders. expertise in that particular industry is something mm-hmm. that i really like to see um mm-hmm. i want like if they have been working in the industry that they are now trying to you know come up with a new idea and um if they have that expertise and that experience um so basically you can say like if you can find a domain expert mm-hmm. who is working on on that uh, in that domain then i think it's it's a pretty good bet that you can take mm-hmm. um and, and that's the rest of that mm-hmm. we're working And what about Mina? What what do you look for? Sorry, go ahead, Omar. You're saying something else. Can't you? Sorry, but I. So apart from that, like again, the generic things like um, operator, like the market opportunity and everything. But again, coming back to the founder, it's not only the expertise of the founder, but the mindset of the founder. Uh, does the founder understand what it's what it means to get on the VC route, uh, and what what it means to run a VC business? because it's very different from a traditional business so a lot of times like in countries like pakistan where the ecosystem is young the founders don't really understand that difference and the reason they are looking for vc money is sadly because can you all say aap you know you can't find uh, financing from any other hmm. so so it's really hard to get loans um, they're not like more traditional like private investors that are not exploitative um so the only route is left from these like new vc funds and angel investors that are here and that's why they try to make every single company a vc company and that just doesn't work out so you have to be aware as a investor aur lagte to kya karna hai um jo laga rahe hain to maro pata nahi it didn't happen with them you have to chodo baki kuch thing to 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 niche la tumne upgrade nahi kiya na upgrade kaise karta hai mujhe nahi pata Okay, so as you can see, player two is having some difficulty. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! The ships are coming, and the the guys are still pink. I don't know why they're not moving. No, the ships are also not moving. Are they moving? No, there there's something wrong. Resume. Is it paused? Yeah. Oh. oh no! 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 Oh तीन ब्लू खिलाड़ी रहते हैं जो कि बहुत कोशिश कर रहे हैं दे प्लेइंग वेलिएंटली दे ट्राइंग टू ओहो हो और ऐसे रियल लाइफ में भी ऐसे ही होता है राइट कभी-कभी आग लग जाती है हमें बुझानी पड़ती है वी आर ट्राइंग आवर बेस्ट ओवर हियर एंड देयर इज डिफीट सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन अनफॉर्चूनेटली दिस इज द एंड ऑफ मीनास गेमिंग करियर हां मीना दिस इज द एंड ऑफ योर गेमिंग करियर कितने आपने आइलैंड्स क्रॉस किए थे दो जी कुछ ज्यादा ड्रामेटिक हो रहे थे बट वेल प्लेड गाइस सो उमर हाउ डू यू फील आफ्टर विनिंग दिस मैच आई यू शुड फील बैड बिकॉज़ यू डिडंट टेल मी हाउ आर वी सपोज्ड टू अपग्रेड दिस Yes. How did you know how to upgrade? Oh man, I think you cheated. Hana, me na kuch nahi bachta. Let's just stay home. There was a button upgrade. Did you play this without me? There was a button upgrade. Have you been? Oh, you have to do it. Have you been? 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 Have you
This is a genuine question. Did you play the game before today? I just played the game. I just played it. <laughs> मुझे लग रहा है डिस्कालीफाई तो नहीं करना चाहिए हमें नो आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग अराउंड यू वन फेयर एंड नो चीटिंग नो चीटिंग बट लुक यू नो राइट एट द एंड सो राइट एट द एंड वी सॉ वी सॉ सम इंटरेस्टिंग डायनामिक्स राइट सो मीना वाज गेटिंग वेरी फ्लस्टर्ड एंड शी वाज पैनिकिंग एंड शी वाज सेइंग ओ मुझे ये नहीं आ रहा मुझे ये नहीं आ रहा सो स्टार्टअप्स की लाइफ में भी ऐसे होता है राइट सो व्हाट वुड यू गाइस से व्हाट आर सम स्ट्रेटजीज दैट पीपल कैन इंप्लीमेंट इफ थिंग्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी Yeah, so I forgot the name of the podcast, but there's a very relevant podcast around this, and the the particular episode is actually called "Stop Putting Out All Fires." And what it basically says is, as a startup, there's a lot of things that are going to be going on, and a lot of things that are going to be going wrong. So mm-hmm. instead of trying to put out each and every fire that comes yeah. up, you need to take a step back and prioritize. Okay, these things I can let go for right now, and these are the two, three things I can focus on right now. It's all about focus. I think uh, um, even when we were talking to you know founders and they're giving us their you know two-year plan, five-year plan, we sometimes we can gauge whether they're losing focus of the of the bigger picture or they're going in in some different direction. And I think it's the same thing when it comes to putting out fires for startups. Yeah. That you need to focus on the things you need to figure out what things matter right now. and just let those one or two things and put them out and then think maybe think about never just let some fire you know burn for a while it's okay yeah and, and not you know what would you say yeah i agree and not worry about uh, the end goal too much just get through whatever you're getting through and take it one thing at a time i mean again like this is it's so uh, fire so i think startup life may ya uh, matlab is tarah ki defeats in startup life for like ye to roz ki baat hai i think even as an investor um make that up my partners ko keh rahi thi maine kaha jab se humne like you know ever since we started investing aise aise ups and downs aate hain matlab ab covid like summer nobody could have expected what would hit so many startups out of the blue puri duniya ke sath hua kisi ko aap kasoorwaar nahi thehra sakte yes or hmm. unexpected tha unbelievable hai almost and they have to get through right so with our portfolio companies as well kyunki wo different industries mein hoti hai kisi industry mein kya ho jata hai kabhi kya ho jata hai ऐसी ऐसी चीजें होती हैं जो आपने कभी सोचा ही नहीं होता सो इट्स अ कांस्टेंट इमोशनल रोलर कोस्टर एंड यू जस्ट गॉट टू रियलाइज दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स प्ले आउट दिस इज व्हाई दिस इज व्हाई दिस इज अ हाई रिस्क एसेट क्लास दिस इज व्हाई स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस इज सो हाई रिस्क बट व्हेन यू मेक इट यू नो व्हेन व्हेन यू इफ यू आर एबल टू गेट थ्रू देन द रिवॉर्ड इज एज लार्ज और एज मैग्निफिशिएंट एज यू कैन इमेजिन so basically mm-hmm. yeah. go ahead usually the same is that um you need to make sure that you don't miss the forest for the trees and if you're like ek ek cheez ko if you're looking at and you is ko bhi karna hai so we can connect so they can also you you might lose sight of the bigger picture and where the direction of the startup that you you know started up with I think that's really sensible advice, and I think काफी दफा ये भी होता है कि जब startups होते हैं, जब start करते हैं, इतने excited होते हैं, अपनी jobs छोड़ के आए होते हैं, या they've decided that okay, this is what they want to do, this is the problem they're solving, um, or this is the solution actually. Problem के बारे में कम सोचते हैं, right? वो solution के बारे में ज़्यादा सोचते हैं कि ये ही solution है जो सारे problems को solve कर देगी. And they're trying to do too much. So I think that's really sane advice. कि भाई, you know, don't try to do everything at one go. अच्छा, अभी थोड़ा सा I'm going to ask about investment as well. So अभी recently सारी policies are here positive policies for investment so what do you guys feel ki kya ab iske baad kya hoga what sort of ek to thodi si policies ka bhi explain kar de for the audience that what does this mean for their startups um and also for investors what this means and then also kya aapko nazar aate in the future what's going to happen vis-a-vis investments and startups yeah so basically the most recent one which came out from the state bank where they made amendments or adjustments to the foreign exchange manual and that was a pretty big sort of changes like usse pehle there was like nothing like it i think there's still room for improvement but what that basically means is it is easier for a startup to now set up their um holding company outside pakistan pehle it was really hard to do they were doing it but it's really hard to do they have to like go around some rules and regulations and everything to do it but now it's much easier what that means is more international investors will be open to investing in those companies because a lot of them are not comfortable they, even if they like the company even if they like the pakistan macros they are not comfortable sending their money to pakistan and parking it there uh because number one they don't want to park it in pkr because of the uh, currency sort of risk mm-hmm. and the other reason is really hard to get 
like money out of Pakistan again. Um, and and because it's easy to get it through dividends, but because a startup doesn't give dividends, it's really hard to get an exit and then get that money out. So they're much much more comfortable if you have a you know hold co in the U.S. or uh, or or Europe or even Singapore for them to do it. So that's the main thing that came out of that. Apart from that, if we look at like regulator and regulator, I think that SCCP has been really, really good about this and they've been doing it for the last two, three years. They're coming up with new laws. Yeah. They're, they're making amendments. They're trying, to, they're, they're trying to bring the startup, you know, definition of a startup inside company law so that mm -hmm. all the unnecessary things that shouldn't apply to startups in the company law, they do apply to startups in the company law right now. But if you have a separate definition, then you can sort of separate them. So they didn't really go out and, you know, company corporation, you get their stats, like 90% of companies are now registering through the online portal of, of SCCP and 50% do it in one day. So the SCCP has been really, really good about this. The laggard right now and the, the person who is slow is the FBR. Um, hmm. There haven't been any sort of real tax exemptions. Reforms, yeah. Uh, yeah, reforms. We know like the software exports, are, are tax exempt. Absolutely. And, uh, yes. you know, the PSCP, uh, if you're registered with them, you get some benefits, but there's no incentive to invest in startups. So in countries like the UK and other countries, they have these EIS, SEIS plans, which means that if you invest in a startup and they have the definition of startup, then you actually get tax, tax credit exemptions against, yeah. against it. Um, so I think that we are good. Uh, start looking at uh, incentivizing the investment side, not just the, the startup side. Or but of course, it, it's more complicated yeah. with the current situation and we being on the affected bill list mm -hmm. and the pressure from the IMF that we need to collect these taxes. So I think that's the reason. But generally speaking, uh, the state bank was sort of slow, but now they picked up. The SCCP has been great for a few years. I think the FBR can do better. Yeah, I think if we have a strong policies, Lata, to Pakistan, we saw that angel investing side pay actually coffee, but a gap here in terms of the funding value chain. So maybe that will also encourage, um, you know, high net worth individuals and family offices from Hamadi Ajo, high net worth families, and to start putting some money towards um, startups. Absolutely. So that would be good. Look, last year. Bilkul, and I'm just going to add to that, right? So last year was the first year for Epiphany Angels, and then COVID happened, right? So obviously, yeah. the angel investment, Jyoti, was other than individuals from their own, own hard-earned money that they've yeah. saved up. And obviously, something yeah. like COVID happens, the first thing they're going to do is just, you know, take the money back a little bit because they'll be yeah. a little scared, kya bhi aage, kya future hai, whatever. But this year, obviously, abhi already we've seen such a lot of investments happening. Um, you know, be right at the beginning of the year, we saw some massive investments happening with checker lodgings and so on. But what do you guys feel? Do you guys feel that now it's going to be earlier on? It used to be a lot of a pipeline issue, right? So, abhi aapko kya lagta hai? what are you guys thinking? Jab aap dekhte hai deals in Pakistan, what are you still experiencing? So, pipeline issue, kisi had tak abhi bhi hai. it's actually dono se masla hai. very interesting baat hai, kyunki mismatch. Hai. एक तरफ uh, VCs को particularly pipeline issue अभी भी होता है क्योंकि वो जिस perspective से जिस lens से देख रहे हैं ना इस वक्त पाकिस्तान को उस lens पे कोई पूरा नहीं होता रहा और दूसरी तरफ समर there is no money आप जब young startup से बात करते हो खास तौर पे पाकिस्तानी grown local hustler startup से बात करते हो तो उन बिचारों के पास कोई उम्मीद नहीं है कहीं से पैसे raise करने की so, if you have a lot of money, you can see that 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 you कुछ कंपनी होती है जिन्होंने 3 बिलियन डॉलर रेज किया होता है और 1 बिलियन वैल्यूएशन पे पहुंची होती है राइट देयर सम बिजनेस मॉडल्स आर लाइक दैट तो पाकिस्तान में जब हम कहते हैं ना कि कोई यूनिकॉर्न बने तो बात ये पहले उस कंपनी को भी तो 3 बिलियन डॉलर का इंजेक्शन दो तो वो 1 बिलियन बनेगी तो वो जो बड़े इंजेक्शंस है ना वो अभी तक मिसिंग है सीरीज ए पे भी इवन पैसा मिसिंग है सीरीज बी तो तकरीबन अभी नहीं है ना मतलब अगर आपने पाकिस्तान में अभी भी 5 बिलियन डॉलर का राउंड रेज करना है तो लोकल इन्वेस्टर्स सब मिल जाए तब भी शायद पूरे 5 मिलियन आपके पूरे नाम ऑन द अदर हैंड पाइपलाइन इशू क्यों है क्योंकि जो वो ट्रूली अर्ली स्टेज लोकल फाउंडर है ना उसको कोई पैसे नहीं दे रहा 
इंजेक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल डाले ताकि वहां से जो अच्छे लोग हो वो ग्रेजुएट करके उस पॉइंट तक पहुंचे जहाँ पे बीसी उनको पैसे डाले तो मेरे ख्याल से अगले अगर ये चीजें फिक्स नहीं होती तो शायद अगले एक साल में हम और ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम देखें इन टर्म्स ऑफ मिस मैच इन मिस अलाइनमेंट मनी एंड स्टार्टअप के दरमियान में Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, almost all the VCs have slotted into almost the same spot, which is like pre-series A, and maybe mm-hmm. a part and follow on into series A as well. Early stage, but there's not much. It makes sense because they think that this, you know the founder maturity is not there yet to 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 pay bets with the uh, with LP money. The risk is too high. Um, and that yes. was something that yeah, and that was something that we at High Output looked at when we were entering Pakistan. I thought that I I still think that real upside because all these VC funds are now in the pre series A. There's not much competition for funding in the early stage, but it's really hard to give just to give the early stage founders money and you know leave it. And that's why we launched an accelerator program which was attached to the funding to also help them grow. I think there is a lot of potential, but the pipeline issue is the same. Like you can give them money, you can have angels as well, but um, there's need there's a need for like even more support at that level to to you need support and you need people with higher risk appetites to yeah. put money in yeah. absolutely um, and also people who understand right patient capital ka matlab yeah. hai kya so you know so they don't understand that sometimes sometimes they're just happy matlab itni sari mere conversations hui hai with potential angels aur wo mujhe kehte hain ki your bottom line hai oh you know if i'm going to get 6% on money that i'm keeping in a bank i should get more money right by investing in a startup mm-hmm. and that is a guarantee which nobody can give them because you know 30 odd startups mein aapki investment hogi so maybe one is going to recover the money back for those, them, right? so yeah i agree i agree but then those angels who about them when meena said like professional angels yeah. mm. real angels they understand these, absolutely jo jo log kehte na yaar main isme paise dal dunga mere property they're not professional angels in the sense that yep. a professional investor has uh like in their portfolio they have that 5% or 6% that is dedicated for startup investments they already know that's a high risk investment mm. so mera chota portion usse jayega aur jahan se unhone 6% 7% 10% kamane unhone apne bulk paise wahan dale hote hain if an angel has to decide between a 6% and a startup then uski portfolio uh your uh, diversify saying you i don't think he has a big enough yeah. bank roll to be able to fit startups or us kuch sir dil cha raha hota hai maybe that's why he wants to do it so that's what mean yes. i think boy professional angels wali baat hai aur ispe time lage na ye bhi to ek uh, almost ek uh, generational learning hai na summer jaise um, ecosystem mein startups ko samajhte samajhte kitna startup to chode uh, intermediaries ko hum logo ko jo support run kar rahe the hame bhi you know 4 5 saal lage hain before we got into the point where we really understand ki ye सारा कुछ है क्या राइट लर्न करते करते हम इस पॉइंट तक पहुंचे स्टार्टअप साइड लर्न कर रही है तो उम्मीद है कि हमारी जो हाई नेटवर्थ इंडिविजुअल्स स्लैश एंजल्स वाली साइड है वो भी और हो रही है जितना मतलब आज से पांच छह साल पहले जिस किस्म की एक्सप्लोइटेटेड डील्स हो रही थी अब आपको कम सुनाई देती है क्योंकि अकाउंटेबिलिटी ज्यादा हो गई है अंडरस्टैंडिंग ज्यादा हो गई है अवेयरनेस ज्यादा हो गई है Um, तो उतनी एक्सप्लोटेशन अब शायद ना हो सके क्योंकि लोग ज्यादा हो गए हैं बताने के लिए और पैसा भी थोड़ा सा ज्यादा हो गया तो ऐसा ऐसा था हाँ बट आई 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 यू नो इट्स इट्स अ वेरी टफ जॉब गोइंग टू अ हाई नेट वर्थ इंडिविजुअल जिसको एंजल इन्वेस्टिंग समझना आती हो उसको समझा के उसको एंजल बनाना ये बड़ा मुश्किल काम है Mm. but we have to keep trying right so okay so i'm going to jump i'm going to start moving towards the close of our conversation to ek to ye sawal hai aap dono se what would you improve in the current ecosystem i would both of you list i think the early stage support <laughs> organizations could do a better job i am very vocal about this um the and and, and the ones who are not supported by the government and we're trying to do it themselves are actually trying better trying their hardest to do it and doing thank you job. can i give a pat on the back to all of us <laughs> just <laughs> separately koshish kare <laughs> but the ones it's who are tough, right? the it's support, tough right it's tough absolutely but the ones who are getting the support almost seems like they're just sitting back because they have this guarantee funding and their incentives aren't aligned with the investment definitely one thing 100% the one thing that needs to improve is the early stage founders the new founders who advise kamil 
बहुत बुरी एडवाइस मिलती है समर आपके पास लोग आते हैं जो कि उनकी उनके पास इतनी रिडिकुलस इंफॉर्मेशन होती है जो वो कहते हैं उनको इंटरमीडिएटरी से मिली है तो डेफिनेटली मतलब आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी नीड्स टू बी सो मच मोर रिस्पांसिबल इन हाउ दे आर हैंडलिंग दिस कन्वर्सेशंस ऑन द एडवाइस दे आर गिविंग टू पीपल अम आई आई थिंक व्हाट वन थिंग दैट आई वुड चेंज इज जस्ट टू गेट मोर मनी एट द अर्ली स्टेज um and strike out this uh, uh, pakistani wala concept a little bit also when i were talking about it today uh, we really don't like it because hua ye ki paisa jo hai na wo ek cookie cutter image ki taraf bahut zyada ja raha hai ek cookie cutter image of what a successful entrepreneur in pakistan right now will look like um aur uski taraf paisa ja raha hai aur jo hamara aapka matlab us cutter se agar bahar ke koi log hai to unko paisa nahi mil raha I would really want just more funds in Pakistan, which is why I'm always really available to anybody who wants to start a new fund, wants to start a new angel investment group, wants to start anything that will bring more money to startups. Because when money comes, then the risk appetites will change. Honi padengi, because startup ke pas is waqt na balance of power sara paise ki taraf skewed hai. Because paisa kam hai, so you can choose to be as you know choosy as possible you can choose to be as strict as possible and sometimes you can choose to be exploitative if you want to because baki side pe itne sare log hain aur wo desperate hai um jab paisa aana shuru ho jayega aur market mein to balance of power shift hona shuru hoga and that's what you know i i really want um, to happen in pakistan hmm. yeah. I think those are excellent thoughts, both of you guys. I think absolutely at the early stage level, it is really difficult to have access to money, friends, family. You know, which will be network. Yeah, upkas on own savings. They can only go a certain way, and you have to start your investment yeah. journey at a certain point in time. So somebody, just if we have an issue, na, jo internship or job, ki bhi kono job dega agar internship ni ki bhi ko experience nahi hai, bhi somebody has to take that risk and groom them along the way, right? So that's the other piece. Ki bhi this is long term work. It's not something which can happen overnight. ये दो महीने तीन महीने का खेल नहीं है. You've got to work with people for a lot longer, right? So okay, so that was one. Next, your question is, what does the future hold for both of you for caravan and uh, uh, high output ventures for this year particularly? कोई specific investment criteria देख रहे हो या investment के verticals देख रहे हो आप लोग? What are you seeing? So you know, if somebody wants to approach you, what's the best way? How does the process unfold? So things like that. Just you know, if you can lead us through the process. Yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, we have channels like LinkedIn or email on our websites as well. I'm sure they, that's how they can reach us. Uh, what, what, what we are looking for in Pakistan, particularly our experience last year, has reinforced our um, investment thesis that you know we have we we like to back domain experts. So, if you think that you're a domain expert in a domain and you're working as a startup within that domain, uh, then I think that is something that I could could be interested in. Yeah, for us as well. Um, um, you know, on our website, our email addresses are there. We can contact us there. LinkedIn, we can contact us there. Um, Caravan has eight investments. We have done. Our plan was to do ten investments. After that, we will uh, think about whether we want to raise a larger fund. So, now those conversations are still ongoing. Uh, we haven't, uh, you know, for our next fund, we haven't really exactly decided how to structure it. um but we are still uh, looking at deals we're still evaluating on a deal by deal basis if you want to come in or not um so that's going to be something that's ongoing um also and i know that you you've know, been very focused on women led businesses as well right so you've made a particular um stress yeah, on that yeah so caravan does not have a gender focus um but that is something that is really close to my heart and it is something that i think for all of us partners it is very important that we are, we have a uh, we have a gender lens and we have an understanding and a deliberate uh, understanding ke kya galat karte hain bahut sare uh, funds jab wo women founders ke bare mein soch rahe hote hain kya nahi karte aur hum kaise isko behtar kar sakte hain to abhi tak uh, we've had some really good women led companies um, you know in our portfolio and yeah we're looking we're looking for more as well but it but maybe i mean jo hamari baki is fund ki agar do aur hain to ho sakta hai wo dono uh, men led ho kyunki women led mein bhi pipeline issue abhi bhi hai for a lot of reason that there's a lot of work that needs to be done and i think again a lot of early stage investment that needs to happen to make sure there are more and more women led companies um further downstream hmm. okay um so just a quick note agar what is the stage of startups that you look at typically jo aapki investments hoti hai growth stage so um 
And that's a funny thing, right? Somehow when you ask this question from any investor, most investors in Pakistan actually end up saying they're early stage investors. Because we have overall check for the Pakistan ecosystem for early stage phase. But it's not really early stage. But as in this, we have a very good idea of the idea stage. Pe dega, ya even the idea is a very good stage. We have a very good idea. Again, because we are risk averse. Because we can choose to be risk averse. Because we are not limited. Hai. और लोग इतने ज्यादा हैं जिनको हम वो पैसे दे सकते हैं तो हम सारे ऐसी कंपनियां देख रहे होते हैं जो हमारा रिस्क ज्यादा से ज्यादा मिटिगेट कर दें और जितनी ज्यादा ट्रैक्शन होती है उतना हमारा रिस्क मिटिगेट हो रहा होता है तो किसी भी इंडस्ट्री में एक्चुअली आप ये देख रहे होते हो कि कोई एक्सपीरियंस कितना है किसी का ऑलरेडी ट्रैक्शन कितना है तो मैं कल किसी को एक्चुअली कोच कर रही थी तो मैं उनको यही कह रही थी कि मतलब इस वक्त अगर पाकिस्तान में आप पैसे रेस करना चाहते हैं आप कोई भी चीज बेच रहे हैं तो आप अगर 30-40 ऑर्डर्स पर डे तक पहुंच जाए तो फिर शायद आपको गारंटीड फंडिंग की आप सोच सकें कि हर सूरत कोई इन्वेस्ट कर देगा उससे कम पे जो है वो बड़ा वो होता है कि किस किस स्टेज पे किस किस किस्म की कंपनी की किस स्टेज पे कोई इन्वेस्ट करेगा बट हम लोग पर्टिकुलरली कैरवैन जो है हम प्री रेवेन्यू नहीं इन्वेस्ट करते तो वी डू लुक एट फ्रैक्शन एंड वी डू लुक एट कंपनीज दैट हैव बीन इन द मार्केट फॉर अ वाइल एंड लाइक ओमर सेट वी लुकिंग फॉर पीपल हु आर इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स जिनको जिस सेक्टर में वो काम कर रहे हैं उसकी बहुत अच्छी अंडरस्टैंडिंग हो फॉर हायर आउटपुट सिमिलर फॉर पाकिस्तान पर्टिकुलरली बट हायर आउटपुट इज डिफरेंट इन द सेंस दैट हायर आउटपुट वेंचर्स यू कैन इट्स नॉट अ टिपिकल वीसी इट्स मोर लाइक अ वेंचर स्टूडियो सो वी डू अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ वी बिल्ड आवर ओन प्रोडक्ट्स um we sell our own products we build our own companies we built two three companies that we've exited so it's a venture builder and a venture vc sort of arm with also private investment or uh, private equity arm as well so um so stage wise is not really an issue for us it's more like that founder you know opportunity fit uh, which you can call it and if it fits with uh higher put for example we invested in a company recently out of vietnam and it's not a typical vc investment but the founder is strong in the domain that that you that she's trying to build a build a business in so mm-hmm. so for us it's less about the stage and more about the founder opportunity it will be fit perfect thank you so much meena and omar it was really comprehensive i'm sure people have learned more so like for everybody else startup se abhi main baat kar rahi hu linkedin email sab kuch maujood hai you have to take that first uh, step प्यासा कुएं के पास आता है सो यू गॉट टू मेक दैट फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड देन ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्या होगा दिल चल यू हे कम बैक वन यूर रेडी और दे मे एक्चुअली कनेक्ट यू टू अदर पीपल इन द मार्केट हु आर लुकिंग फॉर सिमिलर टिकट साइजेज और यू नो इंडस्ट्रीज दट यूर वर्किंग इन सो डू यू नो गिव इट अ शॉट अच्छा लास्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू से टू यू गाइज अच्छा मैंने की मैसेज का पूछना था बट समबडी हैज स्पोक ओके हाउ टू स्टार्ट अ करियर एज वी सी इन पाकिस्तान ऑल राइट लेट्स टेक दैट पॉइंट Uh, at what stage of your career you're in um so for me uh, i was you know i was in the finance space and i saw my opportunity to get into the vc space was through the finance so i started working with startups on their financials on their models on their you know investment you know fundraising process and it, it was pretty pretty easy for me to make that transition um if you're not from a finance background then you know um you might be able to support startups in other stuff as well So if you're on the younger side it's going to push you depend on where you are if you're on the younger side then the best way to do it is just you know meet startups and start helping them out and generate that portfolio of your own um so when i went to LIVC and i told them that i worked with 50 startups already um it was almost a no oh, i think it was a no brainer for them uh, to hire me so whatever field you're in i'm pretty sure a business you're, you're working in a company or whatever a new business any business will sort of need your experience and expertise so that's a good way to start but be prepared or be ready to you know to start off with you know just give advice on a pro bono basis and don't expect too much in return to begin with and just build your portfolio while you're still working and once once that experience is built then you can start to see the new funds and you can start to contact them and tell them i have this experience um or you might join uh, if it's not if not core vc you might join a support organization and then move into vc um if uh, yeah if you're in, in in if you're a senior person later in your career and uh, then you might and you have some money lying around then you might want to dabble with a couple of investors and get some investor experience and then and then go for a more senior role and having like investment experience or maybe even build your own fund later on if you have that sort of network 
चलो ठीक है समीना तुमसे लास्ट क्वेश्चन पूछ लेते हैं विच इज एनी मैसेज की मैसेज फॉर स्टार्टअप um fundraising is hard start early understand the dynamics at play in terms of the fundraising value chain in pakistan try to speak to people who will be honest with you um regarding what the value chain is like and what it really means and what investors are thinking and how their brains work um and then if you want if you decide you want to be a vc backed company um understand what that means understand what it will mean for your company understand what will be required of you make that decision very very clearly and then build your company create your company in 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 a certain way in the way that will attract vcs um frankly summer i don't think those honest conversations are happening at the intermediary level because like umar said there is a lot of misalignment of incentive right एज एन इंटरमीडियट हमें ये होता है कि अगर हमारी स्टार्टअप पैसा रेज करेगी तो हमारे हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के लिए अच्छा होता है क्योंकि हम लोग आमतौर पर मतलब मैं भी इंटरमीडियट हम उसको ऐसा मेट्रिक काउंट कर रहे होते हैं हम ये रियलाइज ही नहीं करते या शायद हमारे इंसेंटिव अलाइन नहीं होते इन इन है फ्रॉम द स्टार्टअप एंगल अगर आप सोच रहे हैं कि आपने वी सी पैसा रेज करना है तो ये एक ऐसी चीज है जिसके बारे में आपको अंदर बाहर इंफॉर्मेशन होनी चाहिए और उसके बाद जब आप एक दफा ओवरऑल फंड रेसिंग के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन हासिल करें और उसके बाद इंडिविजुअल वीसीज़ को अंडरस्टैंड करें पाकिस्तान में हैंडफुल हैं आप उनको अंडरस्टैंड करें और आपको समझ आनी शुरू हो जाएगी कि ऑन ऑफर है क्या और फिर आपको चॉइस करें कि आप क्या करना चाहते हैं और कैसे करना चाहते हैं आई थिंक इनफॉर्म्ड डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टार्ट्स विद यू एंड स्टार्ट्स विद यू बीइंग प्रिपेयर्ड या या आई जस्ट आई जस्ट हाईलाइट द फंड रेसिंग पार्ट व्हिच इज दैट when you're in a vc business you're in your job as a ceo is fundraising so hmm. fundraising is first and the actual business is actually you know all the second uh, so you probably have a ceo who takes care of your business sambhalega aur aap fundraising karenge takriban full time fundraising is full time just remember that fundraising is full time and a lot of times one of the common problems that i keep seeing logon ko log ye bhi nahi dekh rahe hote ki how much money how long will this money last them right so agar 6 yeah. months ke liye koi raise kar rahe okay you even before you raise that money you're looking behind your shoulder again for the next uh, you know sum of money so take a look at yeah. how long that money is going to last you right? don't realize how long it takes to get money absolutely yeah, yeah. if you they wanted funds i mean 6 mahine 9 mahine 12 mahine pehle shayad aapko shuru kar dena chahiye tha so absolutely bilkul bilkul so aur jitna late aap shuru karenge utna aap desperate hote jayenge aur aur utni gaddi terms pe aap settle karoge या या ब्लड ब्लड इन द वाटर वाली चीज होती है ना शार्क्स को स्मेल आ जाती है फिर सारी शार्क्स जमा हो जाती हैं व्हेन देयर इज ब्लड इन द वाटर दैट्स द स्मेल ऑफ डेस्पिरेशन एंड एट एनी गिवन पॉइंट इन टाइम इफ पीपल कैन स्मेल योर डेस्पिरेशन देन यू आर इन ट्रबल ऑलरेडी तो वो आपने इंश्योर करना है कैसे ना हो ओके सो गाइस उमर एंड मीना सॉरी यू वर सेइंग समथिंग गो फॉर इट व्हिच शुड बी टेलिंग एन इन्वेस्टर that you're desperate for cash is like telling them you're yeah. holding a ticking time bomb yeah. which Never. can explode any minute so and yeah. that just ruins your chances in many ways mm. Okay so guys thank you very much Umar and Meena it was absolutely fantastic having you guys Umar we'll have to maybe in the future have you come back Valorant khelne ke liye ya Dota khelne ke liye like you're saying you're claiming ke main tere se se khel raha hu who knows kitna acha kitna bura khelte hain aap so we may have to test your skills <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mina Tarek and Omar Parvez Khan, uh, both who are from the entrepreneurial world and then also from the VC world. So, I hope you guys have got some lessons learned. Kiye honge. Um, don't forget, they're very approachable. Uh, LinkedIn uh, email addresses on their website. They're also there. So, go ahead and reach out if you want advice. If you want to just check where you are, if you think you're ready for that investment. so best of luck and uh, signing out see you guys